Hi, welcome back to Art by Brooke. So I'm not in my usual filming spot, so I apologize. The lighting is not very good right now. Um, I am actually in my bed for reasons which will become clear pretty soon. Um, I have been debating on whether or not I should post this video here on this channel or if I should do a separate channel altogether. I've been considering doing a vlogging channel but I know that I've mentioned in quite a few of my videos that I have been dealing with health issues and um, I know people have asked about that so I figured I should probably post something here. I probably won't go super in-depth um, partially because it would take a lot of energy and brain power to look up all the details right now and I honestly just don't have that. <laughs> so I'm guessing you can tell by the title. I think I'll title it something similar to this. I have been diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome. I was only diagnosed very recently and I'm still learning about what it means and kind of doing research, but basically I've been dealing with this for at least two years and no one really knew what it was until now, I think. We're still doing some testing to continue to rule things out. I've been seeing multiple doctors and doing lots of blood work and um, lots of other tests. So basically you can't diagnose chronic fatigue syndrome until you pretty much rule everything else out or at least the main possibilities. I've had my thyroid checked, I've been checked for autoimmune disease, um, and then lots of other random blood work and testing. So chronic fatigue syndrome sounds kind of deceptive. Um, it is also called ME, which stands for something that I don't remember exactly how to pronounce. I think it's something similar to myalgic encephalomyelitis. I, I don't, I, I can't remember. Um, I'll try to put it in the description and maybe along the bottom of the video. Both terms are used kind of interchangeably. There's no specific blood test to test for chronic fatigue syndrome or CFS and it's kind of one of those things where you have to rule everything else out first. It often shows up after a virus or some sort of sickness that weakens your immune system and can last anywhere from six months to years, um, maybe onward. I'm hoping it's not something that's forever for me but I will just have to take it as it comes and see what happens. Chronic fatigue syndrome does have severe fatigue um, and to get the diagnosis it actually has to be severe fatigue and all the other symptoms for I believe at least six months or longer. For me it's been at least two years, um, probably longer than that. I think it probably started when I was in maybe my senior year of college, which has now been like three years. So extreme fatigue, um, joint pain, body aches, muscle pain, muscle soreness, migraines and headaches. For me, that's daily. The fatigue is not helped by sleep. So even when I get the full night's sleep or if I get weeks of eight hours a night or more, it doesn't help. It doesn't change anything. Uh, it is worse if I don't sleep, but it doesn't get better from sleep. There's also brain fog, memory issues, severe nausea or passive nausea, like a heaviness in your body, like you can't move or can't move very quickly, um, getting worn out very easily, and exercise can often make it worse. I'm sure I'm missing a few things, but again, brain fog is one of the symptoms and um, while today is a fairly good day for that, I'm still kind of having some trouble with memory. For me, one of the most frustrating things about this is having the desire to do things and having such a, a want to participate in things and create. I just, I, all I want to do right now is make art and I've barely been able to do anything. I'm stuck at home for the most part. I'm still working, um, but I can't really do anything. I can basically push through work and occasionally push out a video, but I'm not able to do the things I've really wanted to do. 
I have all kinds of cool ideas for videos that would take more filming and more editing and I just can't get myself to do it. Even just being stuck at home and working from home, I still throughout the day have to come back to my bed and just lay down because even sitting up at my desk is too tiring some days. And I'm pretty lucky because I am able to get up and do laundry and, and move around some and take showers and things like that um, for the most part. I mean, if I have really bad days, I don't get out of bed, but luckily I haven't had too many of those recently. My symptoms are pretty cyclical, so um, I'll have several days in a row of okay days. You know, it's they're still not great, but um, better than average. <laughs> and then after that, I basically have like a flare-up um, or a crash and just feel exhausted. And I've noticed that if I do something like busy on a day um, f for the next several days, I'm just flat on my back. I can't do anything. Um, m you know, mental exertion makes me tired. Physical exertion makes me tired. Um, and there's different levels of that too. I've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of things to try to combat this for years. Um, you know, lifestyle changes, diet changes, um, seeing doctors, getting recommendations, taking vitamins, all kinds of things. So, you know, I'm pretty solidly taking care of it. It doesn't seem to be making it a lot better, but I know it's not making it worse and any little bit helps. So I am continuously looking into things I can do to make this better and I'm holding out hope that something is going to work and I'll be able to push through this. Wow, this is already a pretty long video, um, so I should probably stop soon. Um, but I just wanted to give you an update and kind of let you know why I haven't been doing videos as punctually lately as I like to um, and I haven't been doing quite as many new things. Um, I hope to kind of get some good days coming up where I can film a couple things in a day and then, you know, work to edit them throughout the next couple days. I also wanted to say thank you so much for supporting me through all this, even when I'm not posting videos for a while or um, posting kind of sporadically. I get so much support from all of you and I really appreciate that. I'm feeling like there's something I wanted to put in here that I'm missing now, but guess this is good enough. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day.